Her death sparked a company-wide scandal at Atria Senior Living in the Bay Area. And tonight, our investigative unit is speaking exclusively with the family of Trudy Maxwell. Maxwell was the first victim to die after staff accidentally served an industrial cleaning chemical to residents that they thought was fruit juice. Her family is now accusing the care company of not just the accident, but downplaying the poisoning. Investigative reporter Candace Wynn joins us in the newsroom with the latest. Candace. Hi, Audrey. This is the toxic cleaning chemical. Trudy Maxwell's family says first responders told them staff served their mother. Yes, it's a bright pink liquid, just like fruit juice, but it's also caustic and clearly labeled as detergent. The family says these mistakes could have been prevented, but the company failed to act after the first warning signs. We want to warn you, an image you're about to see may be disturbing. This photo of Trudy Maxwell hospitalized is too graphic to show in its entirety. Her mouth, gums and teeth burned black by this caustic Ecolab Ultra Clean detergent, according to her family's civil lawsuit filed Thursday. I will never get that on my head as long as I live. In a family of now eight children and 20 grandchildren, James Maxwell was her oldest. No one should ever have to see the, their parent or their loved one suffer in the horror that we saw. No one. Atria Park of San Mateo admits that on August 27th, staff accidentally served Maxwell and two other residents the industrial cleaning chemical, thinking it was fruit juice. Maxwell died two days later. I'm a chemist by degree. You get something like that, it'll tear right through your skin and your, and your body and furniture. On September 7th, the second resident who was served the chemical, 93-year-old Peter Schroeder Jr., died. This photo from his family shows his burned lips. I started crying because I knew him. I saw him probably every time I went in the last year to see my mama. While the condition of the third resident is unclear, the Maxwells learned of another possible poisoning at Atria Walnut Creek through the investigative unit's reporting earlier this month. Startling new allegations this evening in the death of an elderly man. Just four days before the San Mateo poisoning, family members of the Walnut Creek incident say staff left all-purpose cleaner out, and their father, 94-year-old Constantine Canoon, a dementia resident, drank it. Canoon died a week later. Atria Senior Living insists Canoon's hospitalization was food-related, and they don't believe he ingested chemicals. His son and a source close to Atria say the company is blaming the incident on flaming hot Cheetos that a worker left out. They're more focused on PR and their own image uh, than they are on getting accurate facts out to the families. Neil McCarthy is the attorney who filed the lawsuit on behalf of the Maxwell family. In addition to claims of inadequate staffing and training, their suit alleges a pattern of misleading statements. For instance, Atria Senior Living putting out a press release after the San Mateo poisoning, calling the substance dishwashing liquid. Atria Walnut Creek saying their resident was hospitalized after eating spicy chips. And Atria allegedly pushing out false narratives to first responders that the San Mateo dementia patients got a hold of the liquid themselves and drank it. The worst thing you could do is try to cover it up. You've got to come clean to make sure this doesn't happen again to other families. Atria Senior Living declined to answer our questions about the two incidents, but sent us a statement saying, we take incidents like this very seriously. We're continuing to work with authorities and the Department of Social Services to fully review and assess the incident. In regards to the Walnut Creek case, they say it is isolated and unrelated to the events at Atria Park of San Mateo. State inspectors have visited both locations, but according to facility reports, no citations have been issued yet. The State Department is still investigating. Do you think this could happen again? I know it. I know it can. Unless we make a statement to these through our lawsuit, nothing will change and this will happen to other people. The Maxwell family says they want to see administrative changes at Atria Senior Living and industry-wide procedures more aligned with hospitals. There are challenges to that. Industry experts tell me the assisted living facility field currently operates in a private business model and not a medical one. Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.